Hi everybody, it's Cola and I've got Aaron with me and we're laying down in the bed because it's <laughs> relaxing. Um, so it's my PMDD week. I am on day four and I can tell because um, I go through a lot of physical changes first before all the emotional BS starts in. So I, uh, my skin gets super bad. It's horrible. It's like I'm a teenage girl slathering my face in pizza or something. It's bad. I, oh, it bugs me. Um, so my skin gets really bad and my boobs hurt like crazy and they're just, they're big and they're tender and they're sore and they suck. Um, and I don't want anybody looking at them or doing anything. Wearing a bra sucks. Everything about them just sucks. <laughs> and, you know, then you get the bloating and the headaches. Um, if for some reason insomnia, which is weird because during my anxiety weeks or my anxiety attacks and, and stuff, I get super tired and I can sleep forever. Um, and then it seems like with this, I get, I have a hard time falling asleep, but then when I do, I'm out, I'm out cold and then I get weird dreams. I mean, it's just some bizarre crap. Then the emotional crap starts and I can be fine one minute. I could be out in public, which is actually pretty good for my anxiety, but then someone just has to look at me weird and I'm thinking of gouging their eye out with a spork. Or running them off the road, or just thinking that the world's better off with <laughs> don't be hiding from me. <laughs> um, and it's it's pretty disturbing to think about. Um, it used to be really really bad where I'd have a lot of violent thoughts, and I'm normally not a very violent person. So for me to have these thoughts, it was almost as though I couldn't control them. Um, and then the next thing I know, I'm saying horrible horrible things, and I. I know I've done some horrible things to poor Aaron over here during my PMDD week, so I asked him to join so that he could kind of speak from the other side of it and kind of maybe give a little bit of advice to people who are dealing with somebody like me, a loved one, a family member, a spouse, girlfriend, doesn't matter, um, but maybe just having them know that they're not alone and having to deal with someone that's like me will make them feel better. So do you have any advice, Aaron? I would say that you, first you need to know when it's the hormones talking and when it's actually your spouse talking. Um, even though the words are coming from your spouse or significant other, um, they're not always directed towards you. Um, they could be related to a specific situation, a uh, certain stress that you guys are dealing with at the time, um, but it's not really about you, and you got to remember that there's not a lot of control that they can have with it. So you really have to have a thick skin. Um, as long as you are, as long as you know that you are where you want to be and you are with the person that you want to be with, this will be something that you know you will have to encounter and, and get through with your significant other. And it's something that you know will get better. And you've got to know that it is something that is now going to be a part of your life. And if, as long as you can accept that and, and want it, um, then, then you'll be okay. It, it's not a matter of, oh, great, i got to deal with this for the rest of my life. Because, you know, if, if you love and want to be and want to spend the rest of your life with your significant other now then you're not going to sit there and think about well do i really have to deal with it because you just will and if you know that then then you're going to be fine then you will be fine 
You just got to have a thick skin. Kind of like that advice. So I know um I know I'm I'm getting better. I know that. I know that my my pills help. Um they don't fix the problem. The problem is hormonal, but they do help. And so, you know, if that's what I got to do to save my family and save my marriage and save you know, my friends and family from running away from me when I become Jekyll or Dr. Jekyll, Jekyll and Mr. <laughs> Hyde, whatever that is, which is pretty much almost kind of how it is. Um, then that's what I'm going to continue doing. And yeah, it's tough and it sucks and I hate it and I wish I didn't have it, but it's the cards that I was dealt with. So I am going to do the best that I can, even though I do have this, um, and thankfully I do have support out there. I, mean, I got Aaron over here, and I got my my mom and my girlfriends, and and then my little online supporting groups. Um, so it's one day at a time. Got to keep swimming, but I'll I love I'll that get movie. there. I know it's a great movie. It's awesome. But um. <laughs> I'll get there, um, and if I can do it, anybody can do it, because I'm not special. I don't have a magic wand, nothing like that. Just an average, everyday woman dealing with weird crap that goes on in my head. So if I can do it, anybody can, damn it. And uh, anything else you want to say? Um, you, you got to you gotta support. You got to love. You got to care. You got to support. And know that it's will be okay yes it'll be okay it's gonna be fine we should write a a song about that i think there's plenty of songs uh, out there about it already i don't know of any pmdd songs though that's very true um i might work on that and yeah you're uh, the musical one not me <laughs> We'll see if I can get anything out of that. <laughs> so, um, until next time, I'm going to go find some salt to drink out of a salt shaker. That's gross. I know, but I'm craving it. So, I we'll thought it was see. chocolate. No, right now it's salt. Maybe tomorrow I won't See, chocolate. I'm still learning. Yeah, yeah. 13 I'm years, still I'm still learning. learning. Um, yeah, salt sounds really good right now. So, I'm going to go and drink salt. How about we just go get pretzels? Okay. And it's not the same thing. Tortilla chips. That's not the same thing either. It's all right. You're learning. You're going to drink salt out of the container? That's Pro gross. Hey. We should live in, like, California and you just go to the ocean and drink the water. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's okay, late. Okay. It's late. And night. <laughs> night. <laughs> you have to hit the stop button. Oh. I got it. We'll see you next time.